like this <clears throat> uh, publish I really didn't know what to do with this post this was a really really troubling post I published one yesterday in the morning and then throughout the day I've seen that uh, uh, what is it Lithuanian president or whatever it is uh, went ahead and even authorized donation to Ukraine for 200 million dollars I really don't know what to do with it <clears throat> because of certain reasons that are completely out of the eye out of the public eye so Russia to ask if Lithuania is worth uh, okay Lithuania announces 208 package for Ukraine and um, you have this man here <clears throat> oh, let's see this guy here uh, okay that's his name President Gitanas Nauseda authorized donation for Ukraine uh, all right so I wasn't gonna record this stuff I know exactly what to do with it I did turn it into the draft and <clears throat> this is a message that everyone involved in MK Ultra got to know I got to know this issue a little bit better better than Russian Western partners such as United States of America because of a Russian government that would have me visit all sorts of facilities locations unlikely even for government spies such as those of the United States of America British and others one of these locations was just as I have suggested here in a news Belarusian leader airbase Belarusian leader airbase was involved in MK Ultra already <clears throat> since late 90s I would go with the uh, various people they would have me visit this frequently which one always was Shoigu Putin Shoigu Lavrov this always was the team that Medvedev this was a team a team you know you know what a teamwork is team if I want to specially ask <clears throat> this question to let's say American physician that worked inside of the US government let's see if he's gonna write on something Are the Fauci? Director of National Institute for Allergy and Infections, that kind of stuff. He was involved big time in it. He knows a whole lot about teamwork. Team. Teamwork. Teamwork. 
one of the following videos I will release. It will be related to this guy here. This is a Slovenian psychopath, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who became so famous, apparently, even in the eyes of Americans and British and Germans, who praised the teamwork, even that the teamwork at the time of this individual commenced in 1993 with a sole intention of basically get me systematically killed. This is going to be a video dedicated to the... I had never seen that movie, Killer Instinct. Sharon Stone played in that video, uh, in that movie. I'd never seen one, but I like the title, Killer Instinct. I like fact that I will be capable to relate myself to the title of the movie from Sharon Stone, Killer Instinct, uh, straight to this individual that you see right there and the issue that I mentioned, such as teamwork, teamwork, Putin, Lavrov, Medvedev, Shoigu. Teamwork. We're talking about the teamwork. Putin became a team leader. A team leader. I know it sounds kind of stupid, maybe even, but you understand in a little bit that these are words that make a lot, a lot of fucking sense. Tremendously a lot of sense. Once you learn to use them. I'm not here to just give you blah 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 uh, but make sure that you pay attention to your environment whether you are in the states or where is it you are the trends that go around trust me have a much deeper meaning in a world of the politics than we could possibly imagine and never being the so-called team work so much accented as to during the past, I don't know, 30 years, I would say. Teamwork. Teamwork. Dr. Fauci would tell you about a lot about the teamwork because he was secretly admirer of the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch in respect to teamwork. Teamwork, which some I'm not even sure about it, but they gave him a, such a compliments in front of me that would literally go into the area of how they took some of his ideas about the teamwork, teamwork, even back to the United States of America and greater than Great Britannia, etc., etc. I'm going to dedicate a beautiful video to Psychopath to the killer instinct, to the team that associates itself with one another, with nothing other but through the teamwork to systematic murder. Uh, this cabal, this uh, ritual, this uh, religion of death, some to which they refer as a sort of sacrifice like Illuminati is uh, sacrifice or a ritual, whatever. Uh, this type of environment became situated, completely situated, totally situated a political space. And even my private life, beginning in 1993, and Vladimir Putin just happened was already since my early childhood in this pool, in this type of environment, participating in this type of MK Ultra. I'm not gonna say rituals, but yes, rituals indeed. Atmosphere. You gotta say what this got to do with a post that I published here about Lead Airbase. 
in Belarus and the possibility of Russian assault You know, I am going to stop here. I'm not going to say anywhere where, uh, how, etc., etc. I'm going to make it crystal clear. I became a most precious commodity in this world to the Germans, to the Britons, to the French, to Italians, to the Spaniards, to Dutch, to Scandinavians, to Americans more precious commodity in this world than anything they ever had any more efficient as a politician as a commodity anything all the money in this world they ever had all the gold combine they ever had i became the ultimate tool in this world in the hands of uh, imperialists neo-nazis NATO, Western power, you name it, definitely when it comes to the Nazis, imperialists, absolutely there is a I am not going to say what percentage in it. When it comes to me, personally, I would say it's 99.9%. .9%. I can clearly condemn the United States of America for attempts to exterminate me with a greater than Great Britain, Germany, and also others that have seen themselves in this Aryan pool of nations whose history traces back to colonialism, fascism, Nazism, and have deliberately declined to see me as a human being for more than just what they became, the interests the geopolitical interests. Like in this case, I suggested I was the most precious commodity. Indeed, it's because it can be already evident from my blog, I do not tolerate Russian aggression. I do not tolerate even millimeter of the Serbian Russian aggression. I do not tolerate any kind of death threats. I don't tolerate any kind of uh, genocidal rhetorics from the Russia, from the Serbia, and I just happened so was like this since my earliest childhood, since my earliest childhood. You could bet only on one person in the world that would not disappoint you when it comes to Russian violence, or I should say aggression, that will always stand up against one. They always take the same position against one. And that was not Prince Charles. That was not Queen Elizabeth. It was not Angela Merkel. And it was not George Bush. Nor any other politician. Who, however, had me always around. Who, however, always had me always around. Whether they traveled to abroad or in the US or in Britain or in Germany or wherever, whatever the MK Ultra bestiality would take place, I'm going to repeat to you again who always had me around, who always had me next to one, if it was not for spies they were using, the so called journalists, etc., etc. What exactly that means? That means that I was used. As you're going to learn in this example, I'm going to suggest to you just a fraction of what went on for the Baltic states also. In this case, we're talking about Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. We're talking about Russian Kaliningrad. We're talking about the Belarus. Yeah, that's about it. And then how it all supposed to develop and what this got to do with the Ukraine. How Zelensky got his $200 million donation yesterday. Uh, I did not know the amount of money he would get. Uh, they might have told me even under MK Ultra, But all I knew was that he would get some donation. 
the bad part about this donation to Zelensky from Lithuania, which was involved in MK Ultra, is already that it was involved in MK Ultra. That's already a bad part about donation. When you get news served through a donation, and it's also why, partially why, this is going to be also the media uh, video I'm going to support stuff that you see here when you think about Lithuania cross one out as a non-existing country country which never existed when you think about Lithuania, think about two things. Think about this video here. Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. I like this parachute. And Therefore, two things. Think, think about this video and uh, think about what I told you about. It's called Suvalki Corridor. That's all there is to Lithuania, I should say, to the Baltic states. I'm going to come back to you, Sauchi, Fauci. We're going to see each other again because you disappointed me tremendously. This is a little corridor that plays eventually the major role for what uh, a Belarus Lukashenko was looking forward to so happily. He was so fucking excited about getting Belarus access to the sea he claimed Belarus always wanted to have access to the sea Belarus is the country I think that one day will actually delete Poland you know I think this is the big dream but before that would take place we want to have this location here known as a Suvalki it's called Suvalki this is in Poland it's in the present Poland connected, uh, take this away and connect uh, what is a Kaliningrad with a Belarus. Uh, the thing is, when I said the Lithuania never existed, is that when I mentioned to you Suvalki, Lithuania is just a country that will serve Russia uh, not only as a jumping desk to the Baltic Sea, but uh, takeover of the Lithuania will also cut away landline with uh, for the Latvia and Estonia. Yeah, for the Estonians and Latvians to go anywhere, they will have to check in here, not too far from Šiauliai or Klaipeda, with the Ruski authority, with the passports, and then if they will be allowed to drive through toward Poland they might do so but other than that they have no place to go so taking uh, Lithuania out you take three birds at the same time I don't know how much the ferries are gonna travel to Tallinn to Riga once the Lithuania is gone of the picture and you have uh, Belarus all the way connected with the Kaliningrad all the way to the Baltic Sea, it is really, really pretty. Uh, also with this here, with this Suvalki, taking off the picture too. So this would be like very, very nice for the Belarus to just take over this area and then Russia will take here, Latvia and Estonia, one last. They would just, rather than present the Russian Latvian and Estonian passport at the border, they will just present uh, 
apply for the Russian passports and the problem is solved. This is what was in the Putin his head. This is not the new thing. I'm not saying that this is what it is. Don't fucking get me wrong. Uh, or that I would want this to happen, or that this is the way it is. But this was inside of the Putin's head when the war for Suvalki is going to take place. It will be the war for Lithuania, and the Lithuania is going to go down like uh, Mastruzuki. It's just going to fall down, tip over, like it never fucking existed and probably never will exist again. Okay. Lead the Belarus. It's not the same, you know. That one's about really 40 kilometers from uh, border with the Lithuania. I uh, I am gonna tell you like this. I uh, not excited about Lithuanian 200 million euros donation. Lithuania was the country that used me for bestiality at large. Latvia did the same, and Estonia did the same thing. But Lithuania was a asylum and open. Lithuania did bestiality performed on me. I was borrowed to Lithuania by the British Empire, by the British royals, who used me as a precious commodity, like you throw it on the street and all of a sudden you have. Whatever the fuck you have in the city that is working against the country, it would definitely did meet me. It would definitely reach out and give the police intelligence, world of intelligence, intelligence services, a complete ABC background about the people that are out there to cause turmoil in the country. Uh, in this case, obviously, with the sake of Russia. Now you understand why I was the most precious commodity in the world, why I did all this, and why the British royals were just shadows next to me, next to their politicians. But they get to take absolutely everything. They get to eat all the fucking ice cream. I don't even exist to prison, basically. It's like this. I am really angry at Lithuania and Latvia and Estonia for not see him as a human being, that's for one thing. They got their freedom, thanks to me. You were fucking nobody till I came on a picture. You would be Soviet Union today if I didn't pop up on the picture. In return, the only thing you got me, you gave me, is a basically knife under my wrist and knife in the back. I have nothing to say thank you for because in my case, you are just maybe even more Nazi, maybe even more fascist, close, closer to whatever your ideology is than what the Germans or British or whoever in this case. You should be more related to me. And because you are more related to me, I feel that you abandoned me way more than anybody else did. I'm sure you understand. Lithuanians were a useful idiot that in a great way attributed the war in Ukraine. Useful Kremlin is idiots and so were Estonians and Latvians who, in fact, went in the bat with Vladimir Putin, supported Vladimir Putin throughout MKUltra, uh, and even contemplated on 
becoming a useful tool of Vladimir Putin in what would become a peace process against Ukraine, a Russian peace process against Ukraine. And this is what this fucking airbase that I mentioned to you, but it came on the picture already sometime. Like in 90s, in late 90s. Came on the picture uh, with Lithuanians with uh, Latvians, with Estonians, uh, with the Britons, with Americans, knowing nothing about it. They knew nothing about it. They knew fucking shit, they knew nothing about it. But then, this was one of the issues that Vladimir Putin used to literally, literally rock American diplomacy, because they had no fucking clue about this place here. They really had no fucking clue about this place. And then all of a sudden, Putin, <clears throat> sometimes in, I don't know, probably it was 2011, actually, I think over 2010, 2011, in 2008, Vladimir Putin stationed in the air base, I assume, there were nuclear bombs nuclear arsenal, heavy nuclear arsenal. So we are talking about the year 2008, what for whatever they published now is in Lida Air Base in 2024. It uh, became evident that uh, something bad is preparing to the Western world, such as Americans, Germans, Britons, Finally, in 2011, it was in 2011, 2010, 2011, this is where you had this American politician just, their hair turning gray, it's also a possibility they knew this shit all along, but the whole operation of LIDA, it appeared to me that everything was done like completely out of sight, completely, completely in, in a dark, like, Somehow, some way, like under, totally away from any suspicion <clears throat> of public eye, somehow, some way, for whatever reason, would not catch any attention from anybody. And all of a sudden, in 2010, 2011, American diplomats, uh, all these American diplomats who were involved in it, one by one, they started to learn about this stuff, and this, this became like a major hit from Vladimir Putin, who obviously coordinated absolutely everything with the West. And as it became evident also with the Baltic states, with the Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Call it a disappointment or call it whichever way you want. I learned around these people to just survive. Because really, as far as my case, they were on a fucking use. They were just exploiting, taking advantage of it. Uh, and frankly, I have no reason to see myself as, uh, as something they were out there to just uh, get killed. Use and throw away, basically, and toss away. In 2000 and, uh, 2016, 2015, 2015, Suvalki became interesting. Well, Suvalki was already interesting all along, all along, Suvalki was already interesting since 1995. A hot subject, Suvalki, already was 
tempting to the Russians already in 95. Uh, so Pollux became paranoid about all that stuff, but let's just set that stuff, that paranoia aside, because it doesn't make any, it, it doesn't present any value. Uh, in 2015, however, it presented the value, but totally, totally different value. In 2015, Suvalki presented what I suggested to you earlier, that Lithuania never existed value. It's a totally, totally different value, whether you are fighting with the Poland here or even Lithuania for a little piece of passage here to uh, Kaliningrad, or you are actually taking over entire country together with Suvalki area with a little piece of Poland here so they can have so that a Belarus can have a beautiful access to what Baltic Sea it's a totally different value definitely became a totally different value to Lithuanians and it's definitely what Vladimir Putin started to coordinate with the Lithuanians actually even earlier even in 2013 and not in 2015 with Lithuanians, as per how the peace would come on a picture of Ukraine, on a picture of war between Ukraine and Russia. You understand me what I'm saying? Uh, Lida Airbase News. Lida Airbase News came on a picture as one of the, like, the total rocker is like the last thing. And it's where Putin became too fascinated in 2000. And, uh, this was already in 2011, 2012, 2008, 2010. Began, began to fascinate with his big bombs. Whoever he would get to the Russia, it was, he would boast to this Illuminati circle. Whoever was, which, whoever was privileged enough to visit and they would take him around if they would go with the politicians or whatever, participate next to me or whatever and they would get to see all these bombs and stuff like that. That's why I listed this stuff so that I remind you fuckers of your diplomacy the way that it went on and about your diplomacy the way you, you think you're going to get it maybe even done. There is fuckers out there, some of you fuckers that think that you're going to get it, maybe done. More profitable for more, more blood, for more blood, basically, in your pocket. That's not going to happen. I have totally here revealed the whole thing on how psychologically this operation of Peace would come on a picture, and really, the same day you have a Gitanas dedicating Ukraine symbolic 200 million, which is actually a lot of money, quite a lot of money for such a small country, 200 million euros, dollars, whatever, uh, in donations to support, to express support to Ukraine. Uh, normal people, you would say, would be happy, but you're not, obviously, for the reasons that I already stated to you. I am not going to fucking sell peace to Ukraine through Lithuania for 200 million euros. Everybody knew about the 200 million euros, whatever. I'm not saying 200 million euros, but donation, future financial donation to Ukraine, including Zelensky. His trip to Lithuania did not come as a Surprise, it was not something, whatever, it was coordinated. And this is again what I'm watching Zelensky when it comes to the Putin, his whereabouts, peace to Ukraine, etc., etc. Again, watching one closely, seen in one again as a real estate broker. Don't, uh, I don't trust one to be detailed about how I feel about it. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. I don't know what he's got in it, what he's got in a pocket. 
maybe he is okay maybe he is not based on the reports and everything he did a lot of work but this technology of killing civilians destroying civilian targets cities without any ability to return back something that should be countered already at the beginning stages of the war with nuclear arsenal which ukraine gave away in 90s i don't really know what the fuck to think about the quarter of ukraine the most fertile piece of ukraine with almost entire coastal line and crimea is in the hands of the russians so this basically gave russia the ability to choke Ukraine completely, as you see, something that the Russians would never ever allow, and what in the future, regardless of Gitanas, it will take place. It doesn't matter what Gitanas would like or what Gitanas think or whatever. You know, the time will come where you're going to see here. It's going to read. It's going to be written Suvalki, and it's nowhere going to be written about Lithuania. The time for this shit will come. Eventually it will come. So is what Russian diplomats claimed me that they will be using LIDA Air Base, LIDA Belarusian LIDA Air Force Base as a dot, as a location, as a punct, as a point to extort West with a nuclear attack, with a nuclear arsenal. And that will be done then through the Lithuanian diplomacy for the sake of basically would extort truce, not truce, but Ukrainian surrender of the one quarter of Ukraine to the Russia. So this is another stronghold of the Vladimir Putin right here. Putin was building all along. Right here that you see this aerodrome, given that this is what it is. I'm not sure that's like, is it like 40 kilometers away from the border? I think it's, it's, it might not be it. Yeah. Interesting. More locations pops up. Yeah, Avia Baza, Russi. Um, this is a Russian uh, air base. Um, however, uh, this is not the one. This is here, Rosh Hrodna region. It must be this here then. It must be here somewhere. No. I don't know. Yesterday I did put this on a map. It must be something like... Ah, it's got to be something like, I don't know, something like this. Hrodna... All right, given that this is what it is. I don't think I have anything else I would say to you. I don't have anything else I would say to you. I would say to you, what, what, what else can I say to you? Russia planned on taking over Lithuania already long, long, long ago. And it missed meeting with... Lithuania for just probably inches, I would say sometimes around 2000. The one on the table really was Lithuania. And Lithuania is going to happen sooner or later, one way or the other. Uh, there was also on a table military assault planned on Lithuania upon the end of the war in Ukraine, once they would sign the truce in Ukraine, it would strike through Lithuania on a Baltic Sea. 
So I find this idiotic, I find this stupid. Uh, I am angry about Lithuania using me for torture, I should say espionage purposes, because I endured a lot of physical harm, damage, and thanks to Lithuanian diplomacy, I should say Baltic diplomacy, I don't even exist anywhere. I'm classified really as an alien on the list of the psychiatric patients. That's a special kind of mental illness, you have to admit. It's a special kind of sickness. When this scum here from London labels you the beasts, that's called really mark of the beast. It's a beautiful this expression, mark of the beast, to which they refer to as a human implants, chips and stuff like that. This is not this is not mark of the beast. Mark of the beast is when the beasts mark you in a such a way as is evident from my case. It's much worse than if you would be cheap, whatever you would be. That's a mark of the beast. If you want to know what the mark of the beast is. So this is what there is about um, the issue when it comes to Lithuania. It was to be given by the West to the Vladimir Putin like a notch in the so-called peace negotiations throughout for the sake of occupied parts of Ukraine. Now, I don't, I am not going to give you any kind of uh, opinion. What do I think how things are in Ukraine? I... I told you what I know, and I'm not going to opinionate myself. I'm not going to be looking for different sites or whatever. Uh, I found it amazingly disgusting when I have seen all these people that will come from Sweden and from Spain even, and from Italy, and they would admire this, these bombs here, this stuff here, and would take side with the Vladimir Putin against me. I was like, Gmezo, I was like, nothing. To the fucking ordinary people, not even politicians, I'm a fucking loser that would come along on excursion to Russia with European diplomats could get to see these things, basically. Uh, just for his public face to appear on a YouTube, he would be basically laughing in my face, uh, making point about you know, the weaponry that Putin, you know, this rattle with and so on. I don't know what to think. I've never, never heard for anything more disgusting when it applies to a human extermination than a case of my own. Nothing is more disgusting than, you know, when you are universally being, when you get marked of the beast to be universally labeled as non-existing. This you can't uh, found uh, Finland based on my profile in Finland as a totally treacherous nation, totally treacherous country. Somebody I would heavily support at the beginning of this MK Ultra have learned that uh, it was all kinds of filthy, dirty deals that went on between Finland and Russia with the politicians traveling there, uh, with Russians traveling to Finland. Uh, I'm not going to say relations and frozen friendly, uh, but, you know, schizophrenically insane, schizophrenically insane. And then we go back to this teamwork. We go back to the teamwork issue. I want to say schizophrenically insane. You know, fear, fear is fucking contagious. Fear is fucking contagious. You know, and the Russian bear basically smelled one in the pants of Finns and Latvians and Estonians, they fucking stink from the fear. 
and you could see how they stink because their streets were becoming more and more abundant with Russian espionage spies traveling there uh, on excursions, on having a good time, and this time and that time. Well, basically, we're there to remind the people, hey, you know, we can fucking come and take it any time if you're going to have a problem with us. Is this kind of terror that I fought against my entire life since my early childhood had declined one for the cost of a lot of pain and suffering? This fuckers for giving it for free, basically, throughout this Scandinavian portion of the world, these Baltic states, like, I didn't feel good around these people, being around shit like this, because it definitely casts negative image about me, and I had to survive, you motherfuckers, you understand, I had to survive, you motherfuckers, barricaded inside of this home with the police, that you would even use whenever you would meet here at this place, somebody was paying it for it all. I did. That's why. So that's your 200 million euros. For which, by the way, I don't know how much you know, but every tank destroyed in Ukraine is one tank less. You would have to destroy, or maybe even one day, if you meet ants with reality, would have to face on a war field, if not retired before in some Russian museum or junkyard. I don't have anything else I would say to this stuff. There is no such thing like a free money or free breakfast.